if vaping existed in 1970, I think this is definitely what it looked like. Looks kind of like a recording device from the 1970s, doesn't it? Like something the FBI or CIA would use. And you know what? I like it. It's a breath of fresh air. Seeing all these devices nowadays are the same, man. You get something like this and you're like, man, God, I got to get it in my hand. I got to try it out. Is it good? Is it great? Is it sorry? Sorry. Is it <laughs> sucky? Today, boys and girls, are going to be taking a look at this Lost Vape Orion Q kit. And I'll tell you, for a smaller device, pod-like device, it's got some heft to it. It's got zinc alloy. It's made of zinc alloy and it's got these carbon fiber S panels. It's boxy, but it's small enough. Feels good in the hand. Hits like a truck full of dildos. The freaking pod that comes with this, the coil reads one ohm. Got your cotton wick in there. Holds two mils of juice. And the mod with this one ohm pod hits at 17 watts. That's right. You're getting 17 watts of power with this puppy chucker. Oh yeah, the built-in battery in this bad boy is 950 milliamp hour. I get good battery life with the way that I vape. The juice I got in this Orion Q is something called 2016. It's a donut. Okay, they market it. It's a blueberry donut. I don't get a blueberry donut. I get a jelly filled donut, but I'll tell you what, the jelly filled donut that I'm getting out of this, wow, wow, wow. If you're a big fan of donut e juice, I think you're going to want some of this 2016 and you can get on over to vapetrick.com, V-A-P-E-T-R-I-K, use code V-I-P, capital V, capital I, capital P, and get 10, 10% off everything. So yeah, she's fully charged, filled up, got the airflow wide open. That's right. This sucker's got adjustable airflow. Wide open airflow, lung hit mode. For a flipping pod system, this thing could chuck, man. One thing I want to point out, you will burn your coil out if you keep chain vaping and chain vaping and chain vaping. That's the, probably the biggest gripe that I found for this. You got to wait a little bit between hits. Most pot systems, I don't have that issue. This one, I do. But when she's fully saturated, the flavor I gets easily above average. I give it a solid B plus. B plus for a pod system. But again, you got to wait in between hits. You cannot chain vape this. You do, you're going to get burn hits. You're going to get dry hits. All right? And you know what I do? If I don't want to have to wait, I'll close off the airflow all the way and I'll do a primer puff. And what that'll do is it'll get juice to the cotton to the coil. Open her back up. Take another hit. Oh, yeah. But to be honest with you, you should not have to do that. It should wick every time, like most of the pod systems out there. But you hear the airflow, right? It's smooth as a porn star's ass, and you get tons. This is one of the most comfortable, restrictive lung hits I've gotten off a of pod system to date. You airflow hogs out there looking for a pod system, this is probably for you. Now what I'm going to do just for you is I'm going to close her off, close her off pretty much all the way, and do a mouth to lung. Vapor production is great, but it's still on the loose side. And that's closed off all the way, guys. I mean, it's good, but it's really not a legit mouth lung hit. A legit restricted mouth lung hit. All right, so here's the packaging this Lost Vape Orion Q kit comes in. Inside the packaging, of course, you're going to receive your Q-Pod along with your Q-Mod. Comes with a USB cable for that pod. Oh yeah, you get a lanyard option. And last but not least, you get this warranty pamphlet, you get an attention card, and a user manual. The five color options I've personally seen is this gold and black. Yep, yep, yep. Silver and black. Rainbow and black. Blue and black. And of course, guys, black and black. Now, before I get into the details of this puppy chucker, I'm going to go ahead and point this out. I've never received the Orion, the DNA version. I never mentioned it in FaceTime, and I never mentioned it because I've never used one. But from what I'm hearing, the only big difference between this and the other one is the fact that the other one's got the DNA chip in it, and this one does not. And the other one's 70 bucks. This one's 30. All I can tell you is this thing for 30 bucks looks like a bad mama jamma. She's got some heft to her, and it's because it's a zinc alloy. It's got a zinc alloy chassis. Carbon fiber S panels. Not real carbon fiber, not that I know of. It's got like this weave pattern. Pattern. Two of these weave panels on each side. It says Orion Q on this side. And on this side, it says Las Vape Quest. Q stands for Quest, obviously. Of course, you got your pot that sits up top. On the side, you got this release button. And then below that, that's your fire button. Your on off switch and your fire button. And in order to take this pot out, what you got to do is pull down this lever. It slides down. And this puppy checker comes off. And here's what it looks like inside without the pod. So it's got these two railings, right? See these little notches on the pod? They line up with the railings. And it clicks into place. Down here, that's where you got your connections. Two connections with the two connections underneath the pod. That's how this thing makes this thing fire up. Yeah, buddy? Okay. So once again, here's a look at this Q mod without the pod in there. Oh yeah, down here you got your USB port. And when you first charge this up, let's say it's not fully charged, it's gonna light up purple. When she's fully charged, in my case, with this device, it turns blue. At the bottom, you got vent holes. This is just a different looking mod, guys. And the reason why it's so popular is because it's so different looking. It's so different looking and it feels a good quality, especially for the price point. 30 bucks for this. Now, I wish they would have included two pods. That's the thing. They only include one pod, but you could buy pods separately. Yes, I, yes, ma'am, they sent me a packet of these pods. But you get two pods in this kit and the price that I'm seeing online is anywhere between 10 and 12 bucks. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to mention this, 
but the pods that I'm seeing you could buy online separately are the one ohm Canthal coils. One ohm Canthal using organic cotton. You see it? Organic cotton in there. But I've heard through the grapevine they also offer the 0.5 ohm. 0.5 ohm Canthal coil pods. I've never seen them, but I'm hearing you could buy them for this. Now on to just the pod. As you guys can see, I got her filled up. Now she holds two mils of e-liquid. And with this exact pod, I've probably gone through three tanks. Three tanks is still going. As you guys can see at the top right here, you got the drip tip. Nice size bore. And I want to point this out. Okay, in the past units, you were able to pull this tip off and use your own tips. This one, you can't do that. At least with the ones that I have. They definitely super glued these puppy juggers on there or cemented it on there. It ain't going anywhere. Underneath it, you got airflow. That's right, adjustable airflow. And I will say the adjustable airflow ring is a little bit loose. It doesn't stop in one direction or the other. It spins in 360. And it's kind of a bitch to get to. It's not a big deal. I usually keep my airflow about a quarter of the way open. That's the way I like it. And I still get plenty of airflow for this. But you can open it up wide open and get even more airflow. This is the most airflow I've gotten off a of pod system by far. But the fact that they have top airflow, that's awesome because this thing ain't ever going to leak on you. Up here at the top, you get your fill cap. You just unscrew it and you fill her up. Nice size hole. When you're done filling her up, you just pop that puppy chucker back on there, tighten her down. And like I said, the pods that come with this and the pods you could buy separately, the ones that I've seen are the one ohm Canthal with the organic cotton. And you got a little window so you can see the level of your juice. But yeah, you see this lever right here. Like I showed you before, you pull down that mother chucker and this puppy chucker slides in there. And the way that I pop the pod in there is in this side, this side first, just like that. You push down all the way, make sure it's completely flush, as flush as you can get it, and then you let go of this lever, and it locks into place. Oh yeah, like I mentioned in FaceTime, this puppy chugger's got a built-in 950 million power battery. All in all, I think it's a good looking piece, man. It's different looking, and different is great in this market right now, because everything's so damn saturated. Oh yeah, before I take you guys back to FaceTime, I gotta turn her on, don't I? So five clicks, the fire button does it. One, two, three, four, five. That's a purple light if you can't see. And when you hit the fire button, see that blue light right there? That means it's 100% charged. And do you hear her fire up? Oh, yeah, she's a crackling. Snap, crackle, popping. Price point, price point, price point. I'm seeing this bad man pajama sale online anywhere between 30 and 35 bucks, mostly 35 bucks. You know me. I'll post a link down in the description to the site that I know of that is credible, that will be, or is carrying it. All that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like it, found it entertaining and helpful. If you did like it, well, then hit that like button. Let me know that you care and share it for all your friends to see. And if you want to see some more of this guy, well, then go on and subscribe up for more. This is Rip Chippers, and remember, smoking is dead. Vaping is the future. And the future is is now.